So the first platform, the most straightforward platform that I want to demonstrate for members only video is through YouTube. YouTube is what people call its own search engine and the second most used search engine, second to Google, which is weird to think about. Through a lot of content, a lot of free ways to stream and watch video on YouTube, um, there is a way to publish your video and upload it to YouTube so that it isn't listed within YouTube search results or Google's search results. So that's the method I'm going to um, start with here. Uh, it's not the best long-term strategy to use YouTube private or unlisted videos, but it is a great way to get started uh, and especially useful if you have a model where you release the video. And then let's say a week later, you make it public. So some membership models are early access um, driven. This is probably the best method if you're going to later release your video to the public after a window time has passed. This is our YouTube account you'll see on the screen for Stranger Studios, which is where we publish our paid memberships pro content, our site wide sales content, our restrict with Stripe content. Um, and I'm going to just show you how to use this platform to upload a new video. We have I made a few videos of our dogs and then I put a few of cats also. So I'm going to upload this video. It's called All Dogs. Uh, hopefully these upload pieces of the step don't take too long. Um, it's going to process the video while I'm going through this. But for this demo, I'm not going to set any custom playlist or any custom settings. So I just selected that video. I uploaded it. And the, the important step here is video visibility. So with this a um, portion of the video uploader in YouTube, you want to set your video to unlisted. Private videos, you need to share a direct link and you can embed them on your site. Public videos would be shown within your YouTube channel publicly within Google search results if anything hit a keyword. So for this example, we're going to set our video to unlisted. I'm going to click save. Hopefully this was a very short video, like 20 seconds. Uh, it'll be pretty quick to upload. Um, once you do that upload, you'll immediately get a unique video link to the YouTube video, to the content directly on YouTube. So I'll pull that up. Oh, isn't that nice? That's my sister's dog, our dogs. Just one morning, they were all cuddling. Um, so I'm going to take us over to the demo site you've probably seen in previous uh, videos we've had here. It's our Muscle of Dogs demo site. And this is a membership site that we use for all of these tutorials. It has basic levels set up. Uh, I'm logged in as an administrator at the beginner level, and we're going to create a new blog post uh, with this video. We'll call this the All Dogs Are Sleepy. Uh, for this site, we have our content set up that if the post is restricted, it doesn't show any excerpt or any kind of teaser content. Um, so we won't have to set up an excerpt for this post. Once we restrict it to members only, the entire content of the post will be restricted. WordPress does come built in with a YouTube embed. So you can enter the URL to embed the video here. Um, we'll see if this works. Sometimes YouTube has uh, different formats of videos. Okay, that worked fine. So we would just, um, with the block editor, type forward slash YouTube to bring up that interface to insert that block. WordPress prompts me to uh, insert the URL of the video. It's a unlisted video. Remember we did that. And then at the post level, we're going to set some membership requirements. Um, so with this require membership block, I'm going to select all and publish uh, the post. So because I'm logged in as an admin that has access to view this, I can play the video and write on the site on this protected post. I'll show you that if I log out of the site um, and go back to our blog, the all dogs are sleepy post we just made. Oh, look, the URL is there. Hold on. I should. I actually don't have excerpts protected. Hold on. Let me show you that. Okay. Memberships settings. Oh, yes. Show excerpts. Okay. I'm going to change it to hide the excerpts. Sorry about that. All right. Flub. All right. So now we'll show you that we're logged out of the site. We go back to the all dogs are sleepy post and we can't see that unlisted video. Um, then if we log back in. I showed you how we can see the video. The reason this isn't a great long-term strategy for protected posts is that the URL of the YouTube video is discoverable. So people who have and are paying for your membership could find the URL to this video on YouTube and directly share that URL to a friend, you know, by email, by text, anything. So 
as long as they have this URL, even though it's an unlisted video, it will play through the YouTube um, side of things. So it's not a great permanent strategy. There are some ways to hide that URL. Other players besides this default WordPress one that um, don't show the, the share link or the watch on YouTube link kind of create a more minimized player view. And I can show you that uh, one of the plugins I recommend for that later, but um, just bare bones. If all you were going to do is to have like a very minimal content uh, protection for your YouTube videos, um, that's how we, I would do members video on YouTube. Um, just like we protected that post at the membership level, we could also use our membership required block, um, which is a way to insert. Are we there? Okay. So that's a way to insert content for members only within content. So if you wanted this post to be public and to have some um, introductory content before the video within the content and then some content after that was public, um, and just that video portion was excluded, you could use the membership required block, put a heading in. And then I'm just gonna move this block into, there. okay. Now that block is within the post. The post itself isn't protected at all for members only, but that portion of the post is. So similar to before, this is us logged in as a member. We can see the post. And when we're logged out, we don't see anything. It's as if it doesn't exist. That's our YouTube tutorial. I'm going to move to our next tutorial, which is hosting your videos on Vimeo. Let me close my YouTube stuff. Okay. So Vimeo is... Kind of similar to YouTube, they have uh, they may, the ability to create a channel, to create collections of videos. Your videos can be public on Vimeo. They can be indexed in search. Uh, there is no completely free level of Vimeo. There are paid plans uh, based on how many team members you have, how many watchers you have, uh, kind of how much traffic, and then some advanced features of Vimeo. Um, so this is a basic Vimeo plan. Um, what is it called? Standard here. And I uploaded some videos in advance for us to see. The important thing to do with your Vimeo videos, if you want to protect them and never allow them to show up in the Vimeo search, never allow them to show up via direct URL request, um, you can set that up at your at the account level, those privacy settings. I did this earlier, and I'll try to find it. I set defaults for my account. But let's upload a video and I'll show you within directly within the video settings how you do that. So I think I already uploaded this one. We're gonna upload it again. This is a video of our dog who loves peanut butter. So my default settings here, uh, with each uh, video you upload at the top there, it says hide from Vimeo, manage privacy. Oh, here it is. So my upload defaults, these are set across my whole Vimeo account. So if you don't plan to upload more public videos than private videos, you can set the default for your Vimeo account. So every time I upload something new, use these settings. Then I don't have to worry about customizing them each time I'm uploading something. Um, and then if I do choose to have some of my videos become public on Vimeo, I can do that per video. But I know that my defaults are set up the way that I need them to. So there are certain preferences you can adjust relating to stats and um, captions and things like that. But the most important thing is this section of upload defaults called privacy. Who can watch your videos? Um, just like YouTube, there's that unlisted version, which is only if they know the exact URL, they can see it. Password protected would be if they had the URL to the Vimeo video, they would also need the unique password to unlock it. Um, and that would be a, a single shared password for that single video. So video URL matched to a single password that you would set. A private video, I think, is uh, invite only. So you would say this video is private um, and these 10 email addresses can access it. Public videos on Vimeo would show up in all of their search result would be indexed by Google. Um, and of course, if the direct URL to a video or your channel were shared, the videos would all show up there in the library. Um, and then finally, this one, hide from Vimeo, is the setting you want if you do not want it uh, shown up on your channel within Vimeo or in their search. Um, I changed the setting to no one can comment. I don't think that will even come into play because the video will only be embedded on our URL. Um, and then this is that important piece. Where can your videos be embedded? So Vimeo allows you to have a domain level restriction. 
So you would uh, choose for this only on the sites I choose because you do want to embed the videos within your membership site. And then you would add the domain of your membership site here. This is my local site, my local domain. I was happy that that worked. Um, and then if you wanted to do this retroactively for your entire Vimeo library, you would check this box and click save. So my settings were already set to that. Let's go back to the video we just uploaded. So this is a video that we uploaded and it's hidden uh, from Vimeo. All right, so if I wanted to create a new post within our Must Love Dog site that contained this, a video of our dog. I did install the Vimeo plugin. I don't know if I'm really using that here. It, it adds a block to the WordPress editor and it lets you connect your Vimeo library to your WordPress site. So it's kind of easier to browse. You don't actually need that. You could use, um, each video has its own like embed code that you can use. I think settings, no. I think Vimeo gives you like an embed code, just like YouTube did. Anyway, um, but this is going to be Eden eating peanut butter. Uh, Eden just turned seven. Her birthday we celebrate on January 1st. So super fun. I'm glad I can feature her in this. So I'm going to use that Vimeo block. Um, and this wouldn't be on your default uh, WordPress site. This would be um, enabled by that plugin, I think. Um, so paste the URL to the video. I'm in the settings area here. Okay, put this away. Okay, that's the URL to the video. Within this thing, click embed. You worked before. Sorry, this is be embedded. Why? You worked before. Manage videos, hide from video, embed. All right, let's try the, oh, there's the embed code. Let's try the, I'm copying the embed code. And just like before, I'm just going to restrict this post to all membership levels. Um, so when we view the post, we can see the video embedded there. We can play the video as a logged in member with this membership level uh, even because of that domain level restriction. If I log out, I can't see that video. So just like before, the video is hosted by Vimeo. It's streaming through Vimeo. Um, we're getting all the benefits of Vimeo's uh, watch analytics for this video, but no one can access it directly. I am logged into this Vimeo account. So if I, let's see, if I log out and I remember the URL of the video, I try to access it. It returns as like a non URL. That wasn't true with our YouTube video. We could go right to the URL and we could watch the video. So in this case, it's not accessing the video through our website. So we're being blocked. Uh, cool. So the next one I want to show you is a combination of a video hosting content delivery network or CDN. It's called bunny.net. Uh, this was brought to us by a team member that worked with us last summer briefly. Uh, it's, it was a newer at the time um, service, but it is in, in essence, it's a hosting service that's very inexpensive um, and it mirrors your data across data centers across the world and it allows you to set up private buckets of video. So just like our Vimeo video wasn't directly accessible, the video I show you now will also not have a directly accessible URL. Um, and then the way to make this bunny.net video hosting side uh, work with WordPress is through a plugin called Presto Player. Um, you actually need the pro version of their player in order to do private video. It's not an expensive player to purchase. I think it's about $100 for a year for that license for the Presto player. But the pro version has um, analytics. So you can see by user watch time right in your WordPress site admin. You can see like, like how far along they've gotten, what are the most popular videos. And then it the pro version is what enables that bridge to the private hosted video with Bunny Dunn. Um, I will say that it is like super cheap. We have a public video hosted on bunny.net, which is our, our video homepage video. I think I paid $15 once for this like a year ago, and we've only spent you know, $10. And that video you know, gets loaded and watched by tens of thousands of people every month. So super low cost uh, video streaming and fast, quite fast uh, video streaming. Um, so I'm going to show you just one more video uh, with that. So just like before, we'll go to post. Let's do a cat one. Cats are okay. And then let me show you what actually 
would be nice of me to actually show you which plugins I have installed for this. Um, so the active plugins we're going to be using, um, this one is called Presto Player. Presto Player is free in the WordPress repository. It, it does also work with like a YouTube video or a self-hosted video. Uh, I think also with a Vimeo video uh, and adds that layer that it creates the kind of library and um, customizable player with like customizable color and a slim play bar, auto play, things like that, if, if you're interested in that. And then we add on top of that, this Presto Player Pro plugin. And those are the two that we'll use. So cats are okay. The Presto Funny.net private video is the block we're working with here. This video is only accessible to those who are logged in. Um, we do, the first time you do this, you'll connect your website via an API key to your bunny.net account. So within your bunny.net account, you'll go to account details and then, wait, hold on. Let me see. I got to this earlier. Okay. Account and then API. And I'm not going to show you my API key, but it'll be right there within the account. You have to make like an initial deposit to put a balance in the account. Like I said, I only put $15 in it and it's taken over a year to even deplete a portion of it. So once you connect that API key once in this editor, you'll never have to do it again. It gets stored in the WordPress site. So insert the block prestobunny.net private video and then already uploaded videos get pulled in. These are the videos that are already in that storage zone, that private storage zone, and it creates an interface that you can upload them right here within your WordPress admin. So I had this one cat's video I added earlier. I'm going to insert the second cat's video. Hopefully it should process fast because it's only 17 seconds long. These are not my cats. These are cats from Canva. I just tried to download some uh, royalty-free video that I could use today with y'all. Come on, it's processing. If you uploaded videos directly in the buddy.net correct, like private poll zone, they're called, you wouldn't have to upload them through your WordPress site. You could batch upload a ton of videos to your folders. And then when you use this to access that private stream library, it would recognize and pull in all of those videos. It's such a weird looking cat, right? Um, I think for this, yeah, add an overlay. No, I want to add a, it's called, not overlay, I thought it was called like a poster. Oh, here, poster image. Okay. You're going to, it's going to be a teaser. I'm going to put a dog and then you're going to teaser and it's going to be a cat. Okay. So now that video is embedded on the site, it's private. It's in that private video bucket. It can't be accessed directly, only through our site and we can restrict it by requiring membership just like before. If we go to our site, we'll watch this intense cat video. And if we log out and go back to our site as a non-member, that video isn't visible. So that's like the end of the three services I wanna show you. Um, they have varying costs. They have varying security levels, I will say. Personally, I really like the bunny.net combo with Presto Player. This was the first time today in setting this up I ever used Vimeo and I wasn't really loving the interface and the setup. And I don't think you're getting the most use out of all the features of Vimeo when you're just using it for video hosting.